Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a gradient background animation in Divi in two ways. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new. So for our page, we're going to call this gradient, but of course you can call your page whatever you want. And also you can design this on an existing page. So it doesn't have to be a brand new page. Anyways, let's go ahead and click on use Divi Builder. And the very first thing I'm going to do is to add a top and bottom padding. So let's first click on start building. So the top bottom padding is going to go here on my section settings. Click on design, spacing, and I'm going to add zero to that. And since it's going to be on the top and the bottom, I've also activated this chain so the value can be applied to both sides. Right. So what we're also going to need to do next is to add our background image. So I'm going to come over here to content background, click on the third tab, and then I'm going to click on this plus button to add my image. So the image I'm going to use is this one right here. And the dimensions are 1920 by 1218 but you can use any image that you want for this design. All right, so I'm gonna click upload an image and then we're gonna save. Next, I'm gonna add my rows. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. Now, before we add any modules, I'm just gonna go into my row settings here. In fact, let me add a single column and let's go into our row settings. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon and then I'm gonna go into my first column here. So in this column, what we need to do is to start by adding our padding. So we're gonna come over here to design spacing and our top padding is going to be 12 vw and then we're going to add some css to the main element so i'm going to come over here to advanced custom css and i'm going to paste my css code in here now i'm going to go into my row settings by clicking on this back arrow here and here we need to add a gradient background so i'm going to click here on this plus button since this is a gradient i'm going to click here on uh, the second tab click on the plus button and we're going to add our first color so our color here is going to have some transparency. So I'm just going to drag this slider down just a little bit so I get these brackets. And the color here we're going to add is going to be between the brackets. And if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so next I'm going to add my second color. And again, I'm going to drag the slider down, paste it in here. So my gradient direction here is going to be 45 degrees. And I'm going to leave it here at linear. Now it's time to really make this full width. And to do that, we need to come over here to design sizing and make sure we set our width at 100% and then our maximum width at 100% as well. So this now will take up the whole width of the page. So the next step here is to add our CSS class. So I'm going to come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And our class here is going to be animate gradient. All right, so now that we have this, the next step now is to add our code, which is going to animate our background. So I'm just gonna save this for now, click on this plus button, and I'm gonna add my code module and select it. I'm just gonna paste it in here. Now, as you can see, this does not look uh, correct. That's because I haven't added my style tags. So to do that, you wanna just add your opening tag right there at the top. And I'm just going to add my first style there. And then the other one will just complete the style tag. And this one here goes right at the end. So I'm just going to hit enter and just paste it like that. So now you can see uh, on the actual canvas here, it looks like it's disappeared. Okay, so now that I have that, all I have to do now is to save. Next, it's time to add our call to action. And to add our call to action, we need to add a new module here. So I'm going to click here on these three little dots. I'm going to come over here to wireframe mode and add it here. So this is going to be a call to action. I'm just going to search for my call to action here. Just drag this above the code. Right. So this is where now you can go in and uh, customize all your text. You can add your title and uh, the button URL and so on. So let's start by adding our title for this. So I'm just going to copy some of this lorem text over here. Then I'm gonna come over here, add my title and my button here, we're just gonna say, learn more. And for the link, we're gonna add a blank link. And if you wanna switch over here to see what we are adding, you can just uh, click on this little icon here. And now it's time to add the text that goes with the description there. Copy that, 
and my description text is going to go over here in the text and I'll paste it in my paragraph area. All right, so now that we have all this, the next step here is to remove the background. So I'm going to come over here and say no to use uh, background color. So as you can see, this text here looks very generic. So what we need to do is to go in and stylize it. So we're going to start here with uh, the main title, which is a heading two. Click here on default and a font we're going to use is going to be called Cushion Script. And in fact, I need to go back in here. Not sure why I clicked away. There we go. So I'm going to select that. We're also going to change our size to 4VW. And our line height is going to be 1.4. Next, we're going to add our body font. So for our body font here, we're going to set it to Roboto. And let me just make sure I target the body font and search for Roboto. And here it is. I'm going to select it. And we're going to set the size to 16. Next, it's going to be the button now. So I'm going to click here on this uh, button. Activate, uh, use custom styles for button. And we're going to start here with our button text color. So for that, I'm going to click here and add my text color. And for the background color, we need very good contrast here. So let's add our button background color as a nice white here so you can see the button. Next, we're going to uh, remove the button border width and then we are going to uh, set our button border radius to about 30 pixels. So I'm going to scroll down here and add my body radius and then we're going to set our letter spacing to uh, 3 pixels. Right, so over here on the default fonts we're going to go with a Roboto but this time we're going to go with condensed. So I'm going to search for it and here it is, Roboto condensed. We're going to change our weight to bold so that this button here really stands out. Right, so as you can see here, I've just added my call to action. So uh, to finalize this design, I just want to remind you about something very important here. And that is you can go and change the background colors here so that you have different variations of the colors that you can use for your design. So it doesn't have to be these specific colors. So all you need to do is to go in and change the background colors. So the final result will look like this. And as you can see here, the animation is working and the colors are changing. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.